Introducing D. Kane. You calling this girl right here a wifey, right? She's 51 backwards. Nah, you're weird, D. Kane, bro. I thought you were something. I thought you were different, bro. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a beloved TikToker that got exposed for some bizarre things. And if you can, it would mean a lot if you could subscribe. But enough of my yapping and enjoy the video. D. Kane, or Dustin Kane, is a 20-year-old TikToker from Texas. The first type of content that D. Kane would create were cringy thirst traps. Many people would dislike D. Kane a lot, and there's multiple reasons why. Many people thought D. Kane was taking this TikToker's style and flow, and this TikToker that I'm talking about goes by the name of Ricky. People seen that D. Kane dressed oddly similar to Ricky, and people didn't like this one bit resulting to D. Kane getting a bunch of hate comments. Another reason why people disliked D. Kane was the fact that he was trying to act like a gangster, but people couldn't take him seriously due to his height. D. Kane's height is 5'3", and when people would find this out, they would go crazy in the comments. D. Kane would later on decide to switch up his content and go to the different side of TikTok, and the side of TikTok that he would go to is TikTok Lives. On these TikTok lives, D. Kane would meet a person by the name of Lalo. Lalo is a big TikTok streamer and known for his humor. Hey, roses are red. Don't talk to me. Violets Muted. are blue. Yeah, I can't you hear you. Remember the time that Juan left you? Hello, Hello. 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 <laughs> but little did DK know that doing these streams with Lalo would boost his views by a lot. The first few streams that DK did with Lalo were pretty bad for DK because all Lalo would do was roast DK. Bro has a whole drawer of caterpillars. He's like, let me throw these on today. <laughs> I'm confuzzled. Bro, you heard him. I'm trying to build a puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> but the more D. Kane and Lalo streamed, D. Kane started to grow on Lalo, and D. Kane would also grow on the viewers as well. And people would start to think that D. Kane was pretty funny. You got a pink phone is crazy. <laughs> uh, I like to feel cute sometimes, little bro. What you gonna do about me feeling pretty? Bro, get at you. And then bro said pretty. He could have said handsome or something. Oh, uh, bro, I like to feel cute. Sometimes <laughs> Okay, you would get it. You like to feel cute. <laughs> <laughs> we get it, buddy. <laughs> oh man. I'm feeling sparkly tonight. How are you feeling tonight? Sparkly? Yo, glittery. Glitter. What you know about that glitter? I don't know oh. nothing about none of that. Oh I know you don't. You don't you don't, don't be, be feeling sparkly. sparkly. Things were looking good for D. Kane. D. Kane's live streams would start to garner a bunch of traction. D. Kane would also start to create a fan base. And instead of D. Kane getting hateful and negative comments, he would get nice and positive ones. Things were looking bright for D. Kane and his career on TikTok. Until recently, D. Kane would get exposed for some things in his past that can destroy his career. The next thing that we're going to get into is DK's downfall. A YouTuber and a TikToker by the name of Panchito would interview one of DK's exes, and this ex of DK's would spill the beans about him, saying that DK hit her and his grandparents. He beats not only on females, he beats on his grandparents actually too. His grandma. The abuelito? Yeah, those those charges, he says, "Oh, look at my charges. Two of those charges are from his grandma and his grandpa for stabbing them." Okay? Yeah, y'all don't Wait, wh why did he stab the abuelitos? What did, what did they do? All we know is that they were drunk or something like that. It's on his records or something. Yeah. Wait, so I have to, well, I'll, I'll ask this at the end, but okay, so then he was abusive to you, allegedly, on this account? Yes. It was, it got bad. Yeah, bad, but it wasn't like, oh, I was letting him beat me. I was also, you know, being defensive. Okay. Because I'm not okay. going to let no man beat me. Yeah. 
but yes it got to the point where he we got in this one big argument and he got mad he actually broke my pink phone the pink phone that his whole audio thingy he broke that two he um because he got caught cheating and then two uh, we got in this big argument. I literally pushed him not too hard. Like, bro, you're you're a midget. You can go flying. But I didn't even push him that hard. Yeah. Turn around. I'm standing up by the couch. And he turns around. He looks at me. And then he literally slaps me so hard. He starts laughing. And Damn. Like, we're talking about, like, we're talking about. <laughs> yes. Like, one of those competitive slaps. Okay. 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 And he laughs and he's like, oh, ha, ha, like, you're funny. Like, I could do it again. I can do it again. I wish I did it even harder. So from there, he was like, don't make me slap you. Like, anytime I got into an altercation, he'll be like, don't make me slap you how I did last time. So that's why he has those bruises on his, I don't know if he showed y'all on the live, because I know I saw that he showed it on yeah. the live. But he has bruises on his chest for me, from him choking. Y'all, he's put me in a headlock three or four times to the point I couldn't breathe. And I told him to let go. And he was like, are you done yet? Are you done yet? I was like, I'm done. Because he didn't want me to get his phone. That's also, when this ex and D came were dating, she was not of age. And then, uh, by chance, by chance, how old are you looking at right now? <laughs> Y'all, let's just put it like one seven. One seven, 17? About to be 18? Okay, <laughs> Damn. Okay, okay. So then... So let, let me say this, because some girls sometimes like to lie. So was Mr. Confuzzle Confuzzled about your no, age? No, that was never, people could say that. No, literally, I literally was like, I literally asked him how old he was. And he was like, go look at my famous birthday. So I did. And then it said 20. I was like, you're 20. Oh, I said, I was like, oh, I'm 16. He was like, okay, that doesn't matter. As long, as long as we don't tell anybody, you're going to be an adult anyway. So that's what he said. So in other words, he pre-ordered you. Sure. <laughs> This ex of D-Cam would find out that D-Cam was cheating on her, and these girls were younger than D-Cam's ex, and D-Cam was asking them for feet pictures. My last, my last breaking point was I had to go downstairs after begging him to stop talking to girls, uh -huh. two little girls, younger than me, um, to um stop texting them and asking them for feet pictures. Oh, I haven't got to that point yet. Hold on. Um, he, but as I woke up, went downstairs. And he's sleeping on the couch and there's a kiss on the phone with a girl asleep while i'm upstairs sleeping after an argument so yeah younger girls mm -hmm. younger than you basically allegedly like a year or two mm -hmm. there's actually screenshots that i have when i was with him i was laying next to him and girls were arguing with me and a freshman girl that's a freshman yeah that literally just became a freshman and his 23 year old was asking girl for fee pictures yeah Panchito would get in a TikTok live with D. Kane and expose him for these things. I'm not worried about asking a girl for pata pics when she was. Uh, I'm not because I know I know what I am. I know I'm big. Everybody wants clout from me. You're not okay. Give is, me a second you're not, here. You're not gonna play it like that. Okay, give me a second here. You showed her name, right? That's your ex's name. What that is? Right there. What does it say right there? And what does the date say right there? Uh, what about it? What about it? She's a high schooler, gang. What about me saying that I stopped talking to her? Did you listen okay. to what I said? Next person. Let's let's continue right here. Next person, right? You calling this girl right here a wifey, right? She's 51 backwards. Oh, hold on. We'll go to exhibit C. Wait, go back second. to it. Go back to it. Go back to it. Right here. Go back to it. Exhibit go C. Go back to it. The white girl doing it, it for me. Yeah, where does she say and her that, age in that? Where does she that say her age? 61 backwards. Where does she say her age? Where does she say her age? Why are you asking a girl for for pop Where does picks? she say her age? Listen, listen, little bro. I'm answer. And why go back to asking... the other screenshot too. Go I'll back go, to the other on. one. I'll go, go back to why, the other one. Why are you asking this girl for Go back to the picks? other one. You don't even know her age. Go back to the for... other one. Hold on, exhibit D. Go back to the other one. That's your that's your contact. Go back the other two. All right, I'm 17. You said you're Go 17, back to the other two. This, What is this proof? You lied to a girl saying you're 71 backwards, Libra. When did I lie? Where's the date in this? When did I lie? That was a year ago, Libra. It matches your number. That was a year ago? Where does it say the date? I have the dates. So, where's it at? 
Uh, it's posted on my videos. Check out my recent videos, LeBron. It's not because you would put it right here. It's on my recent video. I can't you post the whole screen recording right of it. Here. It goes to your Instagram. It goes to your number. Everything. No, you know what I'm saying? Now pull up the other two that you just showed them. So here, here's the thing. Here's the thing, man. And I'm gonna be honest with you. You can't win with people like you because you're just gonna keep arguing back and forth. Lalo would find out about this and get in a TikTok live with D Kane. No wonder D Kane's always trying to be all freaky at the club, getting up on these like young girls. Nah, you're weird, D Kane. Bro, I thought you were sorry. I thought you were different, bro. I thought you was a real member on the guy. I don't take him seriously. Like, you don't even be banging for the set, bro. Like, like you into these young girls? Nah, bro. You tripping. D-Kane would also get pressed at the mall. And these people would confront D-Kane on why he was talking to girls that weren't of age. One final thing that I would like to add is that D-Kane broke up with his new girlfriend recently. And the reason why they broke up is because D-Kane put his hands on her and she would show proof. But this okay. is just proof that cops were involved. So y'all know. Damn. But I'm not gonna... She was also at D-Kane's house and trying to leave, but D-Kane wouldn't let her. So she had to sit at D-Kane's window and scream at the neighbors to call the cops. I did show me show me the bruises. I fucking on. Mm. But if you had bruises, wouldn't you want to show them? If you had bruises, wouldn't you want to show them to the camera? Mm. Cause your legs your legs look fine. Your legs look fine. You can grab my legs, but you grab me by my arm. Oh, so if you had bruises, wouldn't you want to show them to the camera? I'm not going to. I don't need the cops. for like 30 minutes to an hour until my mom finally got there and the cops got there. What's the most surprising about this is that not many people are aware of these things that D-Kane has done, but this was the rise and fall of D-Kane. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing, but I'll see you guys in the next video and peace.